Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for the 2020 Penn State Abington Awards. I want to welcome everyone to this virtual ceremony, especially the family and friends of our award winners. Thank you for tuning in. I know you've contributed much to the success of our winners and share in this moment with them. Today's ceremony may look a little differently, but we wanted to find an innovative way to honor the achievements of our alumni and to acknowledge the contribution of Penn Staters, both to Abington and to the surrounding community. Penn Staters are not afraid to step up and try something new, and they're not afraid to reach back and support the institution that was instrumental to their lifelong success. In careers that have spanned decades and in these unorthodox times, our alumni are at the forefront of innovation in business, communications, education, medicine, and community engagement. Our winners have found time to give back to Penn State with their time and their treasure in ways that directly impact our campus. This 2020 class of award winners embody these qualities and we're proud to call them Penn State alumni. We honor you this afternoon with this special recognition as you honor our campus, our university, and our students every day. I want to extend a heartfelt congratulations to the 2020 Penn State Abington Award winners. Now I'd like to introduce Lauren Enlau, Abington's Associate Director of Alumni Relations. Thank you, Dr. August, and welcome everyone to the 2020 Abington Alumni Achievement Awards. We are extremely proud of our 2020 award winners. This group is truly a point of pride for all Penn State alumni. The Penn State Abington Awards are given to alumni in four categories, alumni achievement, young alumni achievement, alumni service, and donor appreciation. We've received several nominations for each category, and our Abington Alumni Society Board met in the spring to vet the nominees and present a slate of their recommendations for the Chancellor's approval. This was no easy task, and I want to take a moment and recognize the members of the Abington Alumni Society Board. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Now, let's begin our awards presentation with the Abington Alumni Achievement Award. The Penn State Abington Alumni Achievement Award recognizes those alumni who have demonstrated excellence in their field, contributed significantly to their profession, and gained an exemplary reputation among their colleagues. It recognizes Penn State alumni who have brought credit upon Penn State through their exemplary professional, civic, and scholastic achievements. Our first winner of the Alumni Achievement Award is Mr. Daryl Bunridge. I'm Tina Knight, Director of Career and Professional Development, and I have the honor of introducing our next recipient of the Penn State Abington Alumni Achievement Award, Mr. Daryl Bunridge. After graduating from Penn State in 1993 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Journalism and a minor in Business, Daryl moved to Philadelphia to begin a life of service as an AmeriCorps member. During his year of service, he tutored and mentored elementary age students. After his initial year of service, Daryl went on to lead a six person AmeriCorps team. With his firm foundation in education, Daryl's career grew to include leadership roles such as Dean of Students in local charter schools. This ultimately led to him taking on the leadership role of Executive Director of City Year Philadelphia, an amazing education nonprofit organization dedicated to helping students and schools succeed. Under Daryl's leadership, he has increased the nonprofit's public and private funding, expanded the staff, and provided leadership and support to more than 200 AmeriCorps members across 19 schools in Philadelphia. Please join me in honoring our 2020 Alumni Achievement Award winner, Mr. Daryl Bunridge. My name is Daryl Bunridge, and I am absolutely ecstatic to be receiving the Penn State Abington's Alumni Society's Alumni Achievement Award for this year. I'm a very proud Penn State alumnus who's been active with the association since I graduated in 1993. Uh, I had the opportunity to serve with Alumni Council for three terms, and I know the importance and the honor that comes with the selection of nominees and honorees uh, for this award. The honorees I've seen in the past, I, I listen and would hear their contributions and wonder so often what I've been doing with my life uh, next to all that they had accomplished. So when I first got the letter, I read it and I thought, this is really nice, but I didn't go to the Abington campus. So this must be a mistake in terms of uh, who it was meant for. 
So I was really happy to know that it truly was meant for me um, and, and just really pleased for that. I wanna take this opportunity to thank the uh, Penn State Abington Alumni Society for both the nomination and the approval. Uh, I also want to make sure I thank the uh, interim chancellor, Dr. Andrew August, Karen Weiss Jones and Lauren Enlow. As a volunteer, I certainly know it takes a great deal of great leadership and staff to make all of these things happen. Uh, special thanks to a good friend of mine, former Alumni Society President Melissa Quintana, with whom I had the honor of serving on the uh, Philadelphia Alumni Chapter Board as well as Alumni Council. I'm a very proud first generation Penn Stater and college graduate. Penn State provided me the opportunities to grow intellectually inside and outside of the classroom. I've made lifetime friends from my experiences there as East Hall's president, a line ambassador, and an RA. My views from the world or of the world were challenged and expanded on uh, from my experiences there, the classes that I took, the professors that I met and listened to, and my own reflections. As a journalism major, I certainly learned about the importance of telling the truth providing accurate information and objective information for people to make decisions. And so integrity is very important to me, as well as the fact that we can all be part of the solution. Penn State reinforced the idea about working to be part of the solution. In my work now as executive director for City Year Philadelphia, which is a nationwide AmeriCorps education nonprofit program that focuses on supporting and empowering our school age students who've been disenfranchised due to systemic oppression and racism and educational inequity. It's a reminder that we can all do something more in this world, no matter at what scale, uh, to address social justice and fairness and equity for all. It's an honor to do this work while representing my family, my race and culture, my alma mater and myself. So thanks again to everyone who played a role in this moment and let's continue to make Dear Old State an even better version of itself while improving the future for our students, our alumni, and the world. Thank you. Our next winner of the Alumni Achievement Award is Dr. Ayla Stanford. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Christine Krusen, Assistant Teaching Professor of Chemistry and Advising Coordinator for Pre-Health Majors. It is my honor to introduce our next recipient of the Alumni Achievement Award, Dr. Ayla Stanford. Dr. Stanford is a member of the classes of 91 and 97 and is an experienced physician with an impeccable record of delivering patient care. Her distinctive specialty qualifications allow her to care for both children and adults as Dr. Stanford is double board certified by the American Board of Surgery in both adult general surgery and pediatric general and thoracic surgery. In addition to her dedication to her family and to the medical profession, Dr. Stanford is also committed to serving the Philadelphia community. At the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, she identified a hole in the COVID testing systems within underserved communities in Philadelphia, and she found a way to fill it. Dr. Stanford started the Black Doctors Consortium, a group that strives to make testing more easily accessible through partnerships with local churches to provide testing sites and with medically trained volunteers to provide the actual testing. Since its inception, the Black Doctors Consortium has tested hundreds of Philadelphians, helping to break healthcare barriers and serve Philadelphia's underserved communities. It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce our 2020 Alumni Achievement Award winner, Dr. Alice Stanford. My name is Dr. Ayla Stanford, and I am so appreciative of this award given to me by Penn State. I'm actually a double degree Penn Stater from uh, the Pennsylvania State University at University Park, having spent some of my time at Barron and also in Abington, and then uh, the Pennsylvania State University College of Medicine, Milton S. Hershey. And it means a lot to receive this award because my foundation started here. Um, and especially for medical school, I could have gone other places, but I chose to stay in state at home um, because I felt most at home at Penn State. Many of my friends, my roommates, my sorority sisters, being a Penn State Lion ambassador uh, are folks that I am still friends with today. And what I'm doing in the midst of 
this uh, pandemic um, or even crisis that the world is in is bringing uh, barrier-free uh, COVID-19 testing to communities that are the most vulnerable in the Philadelphia in southeastern uh, Pennsylvania. And we began that in March of 2020 with education because there were so many mixed messages. And again, with 18 years of education after graduating from high school at 17, I felt it my responsibility to give back to those who were most susceptible. Um, right now, 80 per 100,000 African Americans are dying from coronavirus in comparison to 35 to 100,000 white Americans. And where you see a deficit that way, the resources must go to groups that are disproportionately affected. And it was my responsibility to do that, to give back to a community that's given so much to me. So for Penn State to acknowledge that, now we are approaching 10,000 residents that we've tested. I am grateful, appreciative, and I thank you for the foundation as I build my skill set throughout my life. So thank you. Our next winner of the Alumni Achievement Award is Mr. Bruce McKee. It was my honor and my great pleasure to nominate Bruce McKee, class of 1966, for the Abington Alumni Achievement Award. Bruce enjoyed a remarkable 35 year career in the gaming industry, including at the infancy of Atlantic City in the late 1970s. He was instrumental in developing extensive internal control procedures while the industry was beginning. And in short, Bruce's integrity and character influenced the foundation on which the highly regulated New Jersey gaming industry was started. His colleagues credit his positive attitude as the reason for his tremendous success. Over the past two years, it was my pleasure to get to know Bruce personally and his wife, Lucille. And now it's my honor to introduce Bruce McKee, winner of the 2020 Abington Alumni Achievement Award. Certainly, I'd like to thank Chancellors August Fernandez and the Alumni Society Board for acknowledging me with this award. It's always nice to be recognized for professional achievement, no matter where one stands in their professional career. I attended Penn State Abington some years back, but on a recent tour of the grounds, it seemed like much of the grounds were the same and some of the older buildings were also still in use and looked pretty much the same. And it was during these years at Abington that I felt served as the foundation for my education and uh, the bedrock for my eventual career and all future endeavors. You don't really realize it at the time, but you are learning certain skills and principles that are going to serve you for the rest of your life. Things like communications and ethics, values, integrity, all of which serve as a foundation for your future endeavors. Even such fundamental things, such as uh, traits like punctuality and commitment, learning to work in diverse environments, uh, under pressure and meeting deadlines, all of which you are going to exper experience on an ongoing basis. So I would encourage you all to pursue and complete your higher education and even upon graduation to continue your self-educating whenever the opportunity arises. For the more you know, the more you're going to be able to get along in life in our increasingly complex world. So with that, I'd like to thank again everyone involved for this award and wish you all success in your education and careers. The next award to be presented is the Young Alumni Achievement Award. 
Much like the Alumni Achievement Award, this award recognizes a graduate of the last 15 years who has proven to be a rising star in their field. It recognizes Penn State alumni who have brought credit upon Penn State through their exemplary professional, civic, and scholastic achievements. Our first winner of the Young Alumni Achievement Award is Mr. Marvin Dutton. Hello, uh, my name is Council Member Isaiah Thomas. I'm a City Council Member representing the City of Philadelphia, and I have the pleasure today to introduce my friend, uh, someone I've known since high school, uh, someone I had the pleasure of graduating high school and college with. Uh, we are both class of 2007 alumni of Penn State Abington, as well as class of 2002 alumni of Frankfurt High School. Um, this is someone who is a teacher, a former teacher and an educator, still an educator, lifelong educator, uh, someone who is a successful entrepreneur, and someone who, in, in the midst of his journey, has taken the time to give back to young people across the city of Philadelphia, as well as young people at Penn State Abington. Uh, this is my good friend, the recipient of the Young Alumni Achievement Award, uh, my good friend, Marvin Dutton. Congratulations, and thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much for the Penn State Abington Alumni Achievement Award. I want to thank my parents for always inspiring me to learn. I want to thank my mentor, Coach Howard Griffith. I want to thank the Penn State Abington Athletic Program and coaching staff, Coach Maurice Williams, Coach Amin Akbar, and Coach Mike Peters. I want to thank my teammates, Isaiah Thomas, Eddie Aurelio, Scott Brandt, Paul Vita Colonna. These guys push me to be the best person that I could be, and it helps me even today. Um, Penn State Abington was a great experience. I was able to be uh, an adult learner. I was able to raise a child. I was able to attend class while playing sports. It gave me a head start and pushed me towards entrepreneurship. And it's just a great thing. And I want to say congratulations to all my peers who has also won the award. So thank you so much. Our next winner of the Young Alumni Achievement Award is Ms. Aliyah Talvaldarin. My name is Yvonne Love and I'm an Associate Professor of Art. I have known Aliyah for over 10 years in the capacities of teacher, advisor, mentor, and eventually as a teacher herself. In each capacity, I have found Aliyah to be gifted, creative, and nurturing. I have enjoyed being stimulated over the years by both her intelligence and creative accomplishments. When Aliyah was a student here, she took all of the courses I taught, the complete sculpture track, as well as my art education course. As an art student, Aaliyah's literate, varied, and engaged process became a force in her personal work early on. The level of experimentation with different media and depth of self-expression allowed her to connect to the process of creating in a unique fashion. Aaliyah was also a member of our art club, which I advised. We often participated in community outreach programs working with elementary age school children. Aaliyah not only embraced a leadership role in designing projects for children, she truly thrived in that atmosphere. Aaliyah's work ethic was evident as she worked as an art assistant at Germantown Academy while pursuing a master's in art education at Arcadia University, and then subsequently becoming the lower, lower school art teacher. I know that Aaliyah truly connected with a profession that allowed her creative and nurturing spirit to come alive. As my children attended the same school and I've enjoyed seeing the artwork her students there have created over the years. Aaliyah has also continued to pursue her artistic and environmental art by creating and working with organic dyes and textiles and sensitively documenting the landscape, real and imagined, of her travels. It is my pleasure to award Aaliyah with the 2020 Abington Young Alumni Achievement Award. Hi, my name is Aaliyah Tavoldaran. I wanted to thank Penn State Abington and Yvonne Love who nominated me for this award so much. I am so indebted to Penn State Abington for really forming the person I am now in my profession and in so many ways. Um, I'm just really, I just really am, you know, so thankful for the dedicated faculty who helped me discover my passions in art and English and really refine them and uh, lead me into art education. So thank you, it's such a great honor. Our next winner of the Young Alumni Achievement Award is Mr. Stephen Ritchie. Hello, I'm here to talk to you about a very special a student that I had in my program. He was an administration justice major and a psychology minor. He started Penn State Abington in fall of 2007. He was in my first year seminar class. In spring of 2011, he joined me and a dozen other students in an embedded travel trip to England and spent spring break there. And eventually he graduated fall of 2011. For the past seven years, he's been a Philadelphia police officer in the 17th district. 
He is a dedicated law enforcement officer, highly active and invested in the community in which he serves. Previously, he was a crime analyst officer, as well as a site leader and program coordinator for Philadelphia Department of Community Health. He's actively working with youth between the ages of eight and 17, and he focuses on self-improvement and the betterment of the neighborhoods in which they live. I am very pleased to present the Young Alumni Achievement Award to Stephen Rickey. Hi, my name is Steve Ritchie. I am a Penn State graduate and recipient of the Penn State Young Alumni Achievement Award. First off, I would like to thank Professor Lisa Morris for nominating me for this award. It is truly an honor. I have been working in law enforcement as a Philadelphia police officer for the past seven and a half years now. In December of 2019, I was promoted to police sergeant. One of my goals as a police officer is to bridge the gap between police and the communities they serve by humanizing the badge, building positive relationships in the community, and making police more relatable to the public. I strive daily for positive interactions with members of the community, whether it's on a specific job or an assignment or just in passing. I try to encourage those under my supervision to do the same and often try to get them to think outside the box um, by incorporating community policing strategies and solutions. I'm proud to serve the city of Philadelphia and proud to be a Penn State alumni. One of the things that my college experience has helped me with in my career today is cultural awareness. Before college, I had little interaction with people that were different than me. I'm grateful for this experience and I believe it has helped me transition into a career working as a police officer in a very diverse city with lots of different people of all different backgrounds. Again, thank you for this award and I hope that all of you have a safe and healthy school year. Our next winner of the Young Alumni Achievement Award is Mrs. Diana Harrison. Diana Harrison is a nurse who entered our RN to BSN program a few years ago, and she was a wonderful student. I was her academic advisor and also her uh, faculty for several of her classes. She always portrayed a lot of enthusiasm for the classwork and participated well, worked well with the other students. She came to me near the end of the program and said, okay, I think I wanna continue this process. I've spoken with my husband and my four children and they, they are fully supportive of me, which I know is always a challenge for working full-time moms. But um, she, I encouraged her at that point to apply to the nurse practitioner program at Penn State in the graduate nursing program. She did, and she was very successful in that venture. She returned to working full time in a clinic in North Philadelphia that served poor women, providing um, extensive care to them. Most recently, she entered um, a hospital position inpatient unit, and she is providing uh, care to a variety of patients. In recent conversations I've had with her, she said she wanted to apply to the doctorate in nursing practice program at Penn State. I encouraged her to do that, and she probably will. It's just been making a change of positions. Um, I've just been so pleased to get to know her. She taught a few classes for us in the RN to BSN program. And I know she has also taught at uh, Montgomery County Community College. She uh, would be a wonderful educator and I'm hoping um, that she will continue this path. I am just so honored to be able to recommend her for this award and I think she is a deserving student. Thank you. Thank you so much for this award. I am really thankful and honored to be nominated. I had a great time at Penn State Abington. When I came, I was a transfer student from a small community college and I had no idea what to expect. I wanted to further my nursing career and what I found was flexible classes, a great atmosphere and wonderful mentors. I'll never forget sitting in Dr. Holzer's office asking her, should I go to graduate school? Can I make it? And she was so encouraging and supportive 
I'd like to thank you, Dr. Holzer, for nominating me and being such a great mentor. And thank you from my family for supporting me. Our next winner of the Young Alumni Achievement Award is Mr. Daquan Morrow. Hello, I'm Brian Martinovich, class of 2012, and a member of the Abington Alumni Society Board. As a member of the ASB, I had the honor of helping to choose the slate of candidates for these awards. We were presented with a slate of accomplished alumni, and it was difficult to choose those that are being honored today. I'm excited to present our next winner of the Young Alumni Achievement Award, Daquan Morrow. Quan graduated Penn State in 2009 with a degree in communications. Since graduation, he has taken that degree to a new level and created a space at the intersection of technology and communications. He is the founder of KM Digital Relations, a digital marketing agency focused on helping communities, both established and startup, communicate their vision and bring in new business. As Quan's career continues to grow, KM Digital was recently acquired by Gregory FCA, and Quan has been tapped to run the digital relations branch of the firm. I'm honored to introduce our 2020 Abington Young Alumni Achievement Award winner, Daquan Morrow. It's an honor to be recognized as an alumni and for an achievement award from Penn State Abington. Uh, the more I thought about it, it really brought home to me what all I've been able to accomplish and the achievements I've been able to uh, make. And now because of my education there, and so now to be recognized um, from the college really means a lot to me. Um, from a professional perspective, I would say as a digital marketer, in particular with social media, uh, with my corporate communications degree, it really gave me a well-rounded view of strategic communications, of how to appeal to different audiences using different channels to achieve different objectives. Um, and it's, it's really helped me boost my career and go on to start my own business and, and really grow that based on a lot of the fundamentals that, that I've learned here uh, at Penn State Abington. From the extracurricular activities, they've really come full circle. I was involved in a lot of diversity and uh, diversity intercultural communications activities there at the school. And um, it's, it's always helped out. I think in 2020, we can really clearly see more than ever that that uh, intercultural communication and, and better understanding of diversity uh, has really been important, especially in my field. And finally, I, I would say the relationships that I've developed, both with my classmates, but also with, with professors and others there at Penn State Abington, uh, many of which have lasted long past graduation. I know there were certain professors that encouraged me to get involved in uh, professional organizations. And because of that, I can make a direct line between their encouraged involvement in these organizations and where I'm at today um, in, my, in my career. Uh, it, it's, it's been great to stay in touch with Penn State Abington professors and staff and be able to come back and share some of my stories with the students, um, which, which motivates me even further to continue trying to climb the ladder so that I can reach down and help the next student also climb that ladder uh, as they graduate and, and enter the world. So I'm absolutely thrilled and honored to be recognized by Penn State Abington. Um, it means a lot to me and um, thank you very much for the opportunity. The next award to be presented is the Abington Alumni Service Award. This award recognizes those alumni who have demonstrated excellence in giving back to the Penn State community. It recognizes alumni for their volunteer service to the campus and engagement with current students, faculty, and staff. Our first winner of the Abington Alumni Service Award is Ms. Melissa Quintana. Hi, my name is Dane Zanowski, and I am the immediate past president for the Penn State Abington Alumni Society. And it is my honor to present the Alumni Service Award to Melissa Quintana. Melissa embodies the spirit of this award by how much she has given back to the Penn State Abington community, its students, faculty, and staff. Besides the Alumni Society of Penn State Abington, she is also heavily involved with the Philly chapter, as well as, as, well as minority mentoring programs 
through the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at Penn State. It is my honor again to present this award to Melissa Quintana. Thank you to Penn State Abington for this honor. Even before graduating, I knew I wanted to give back and serve the Abington community. From the first day I stepped on the Abington campus, I knew it was special. Besides its blatant and natural beauty, there was an aura about the people on this campus. From the warm and welcoming staff to the professors eager to impart their knowledge. What made an impact on me the most were the students, my fellow classmates. As we walked up the steep hills, passed each other in the halls and collaborated in the classroom, the students of Penn State Abington were driven. I heard countless stories of those being first generation college students and hopeful graduates, active and retired military back in the classroom, all the way through to students in their 60s wanting to learn more and do something new. The grit, ambition, diversity, drive, and determination of the Penn State Abington community is what drove me the to be the best I could be as a student. How I represent myself now as an alumni and why I'm always eager to give back. Whether you graduated months ago or years ago, I encourage you to come back to the Abington campus. Take a stroll. Let your memories take you back to a time where anything seemed possible. Then think a little further to the volunteers who came back to impart a little bit of their knowledge. That can be you today. Once again, thank you to the Penn State Abington community. I look forward to many more years of giving back and making the best impact I can. Thank you. Our next winner of the Abington Alumni Service Award is Mr. Mac Brooks. I'm Dr. Laura Clark, the current Penn State Abington Board Chair, and I'm thrilled to be able to virtually recognize Mr. Mac Brooks as the recipient for the 2020 Abington Alumni Service Award. Mac has served as a member of the Abington Advisory Board since 2012 with enthusiasm and commitment. Pre-COVID, this road warrior used to leave his home in Virginia in the wee early hours to attend our on-campus 7.30 a.m. advisory board meetings, often arriving before the rest of us. In 2017, he accepted a leadership role as chair of the Governance and Development Committee and is a current member of the Executive Committee. A proud Penn State alum, he is consistently one of our first responders when asking for additional financial assistance to provide for our students in need. He was recently quoted in a Penn State news article about his why, and I quote, we support the Penn State Abington Emergency Assistance Fund because it is a mechanism to help students remain on track toward earning their degrees without incurring additional debt. His exemplary record and servant leadership makes Mac a no-brainer for this prestigious honor. What better way to recognize a job well done than with the service award? Thank you, Mac, for all you do for our advisory board, our students at Penn State Abington, and for Penn State University. Heartfelt congratulations. I want to thank the president of the advisory board, Dr. Laura Clark, and the other members for selecting me for this honor. Uh, I've been asked to say a few words about why I've chosen to give back to my alma mater. And I can only say that attending Penn State Ogons, now Abington, was a life-changing event for me. And the knowledge, the skills, as well as the values I acquired while there has really had a positive impact on me, my family, as well as the many people with whom I've come into contact. So I'm pleased to accept this award so that those who see this presentation, as well as those who uh, see the award, will be motivated to give back to others while they're pursuing their life goals. Thank you. The last award to be presented this afternoon is the Penn State Abington Donor Appreciation Award. This award recognizes alumni and friends who made significant financial contributions to Penn State Abington. Our winner of the 2020 Donor Appreciation Award is Ms. Lorraine Becerra. Hi, I'm Ariel Abaton, class of 2020 and a member of the Abington Alumni Society Board. I'm happy to introduce our 2020 winner of the Abington Donor Appreciation Award, Lorraine Becerra. I met Lorraine a few years ago when I was serving as president of the Student Philanthropy Council. 
Lorraine spoke on a panel of alumni talking about why she chose to give back to Penn State Abington. Her honesty and compassion touched everybody in that room. To top it off, after the event, she surprised our student group and supported our Giving Tuesday fundraiser to support the Student Emergency Assistance Fund. That is Lorraine. She sees a need and has no issue with jumping in and lending a hand. It is my honor to introduce Lorraine Basara, winner of the Donor Appreciation Award. First, I'd like to thank former Chancellor Dr. Fernandez, Dr. August, Karen Weiss-Jones, and Lauren Enlow for this great honor. I am truly, truly humbled. I'd also love to give a shout out to the staff of the Professional Development Office. I have the pleasure of working with them and students to help them prepare for their careers. You may be asking yourself, why do I give? I really want to make a difference. That's really what I want to do. I'm not overly wealthy, but over the years, I've been able to contribute to several worthy efforts to help Penn State students and student athletes. You know, that adds up over time and any contribution can, can and will help make a difference. And I encourage more alumni to consider giving. You know, a lot of things can be taken away from you except your education. No one can take your education away from you. Getting an education helps you make a difference in your own life. And I hope more alumni and friends of Penn State will contribute to make a difference too. Together, we can all make a difference. Thank you. This concludes our awards presentation for today. I want to congratulate all of our 2020 award winners. You are truly an inspiration to all of us. Thank you to all that have attended our ceremony today. Nominations for the 2020 Abington Awards will be opened in January, so be on the lookout for our alumni newsletter, News from Sutherland, for the nomination form. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day.